everyone, today we are going to be doing a comparison video between two very similar styles from the two most popular cosplay wig companies. In case you didn't know, I happen to like wigs, um, and I have had this one very, very long white wig for some time now, and recently Christina also got a very, very long wig from a different company, and I thought it would be a fun video to sort of compare the two styles since they are quite similar, and to let you know which ones I would personally prefer. So the two wigs I'm going to be showing you are the Delilah Silky from Art of Wigs in comparison to the Athena from Epic Cosplay. These wigs aren't perfect matches for each other. The Delilah is about five feet long, whereas the Athena is only like three feet long. Um, a more comparable style from Epic Cosplay would be the Astraria, which I think is around four feet long. Um, but overall, I think they're similar enough that this video will show sort of like the differences in like the construction and like sort of the overall look that each company has with their wigs. So here are the two wigs. Um, right off the bat, the um, Athena is much more compacted in like this one smaller wig bag, whereas the Delilah is this gigantic, super long wig bag, so that the wig can really shake out and get quite long. But even compacted down, you can see that the Delilah is much larger and much heavier. So I'm going to take these both out of the bag and show you guys what they look like. Some general facts before we start. The Delilah is from the Silky range from Art of Wigs, which is supposed to be a lot smoother and less likely to tangle. It is also 5 feet long. It has a 1 inch round skin top part. It comes in 18 colors and it is heat resistant up to 350 degrees. And this wig retails for $65. The Athena, on the other hand, is three and like a half feet long. It has a two inch wide round skin top part. It comes in 26 colors and it's heat resistant up to 400 degrees. The Athena is $45 and the Epic Cosplay is equivalent of the Delilah. The Astraria is $55. Okay, with that all the way, let's go look at these wigs. Okay, so I wanted to show this rather odd angle to talk a little bit about like the wig cap construction because that is something that I think differs the most between um, wigs from different brands. Another thing I want to mention is Christina actually unwefted the very front bang piece of the Delilah. So currently it's bald up here, but luckily it still has like the rest of the inner construction. So it not having bangs won't make a very big difference for this video. One big thing I'm noticing between the two wigs is the distance of where the skin top piece is, which is this like base circle right here. On this wig, it's, let's see, about three inches down, whereas on the Athena, it's, I would say closer to four inches down, so it's much like further back on the head. These wigs both have the same um, circumference of 23 inches, which is something that I prefer in general about buying from, uh, like, I guess, American-based cosplay companies is the, over ones that you just get from random shops at eBay, is that eBay ones tend to be quite small cap sizes, whereas um, ones from, like, cosplay companies in America tend to be a lot larger. So if you fit one of these wigs, you'll fit the other one pretty well. In terms of the number of wefts that are down in this lower area, the Delilah has 21 wefts starting from right up here to the base of like the tail bit, and the Athena has 18. So the Athena differs in that has less wefts overall than the Delilah. Numbering of wefts is what is going to determine the thickness of the wig. So again, as I showed before, not only is the Delilah a lot thicker because it's so much longer, but just now you can see by the number of wefts, it's going to be thicker overall than the Athena. Now having a lot of wefts can be both a blessing and a curse depending on what you're going for. Um, having a lot of wefts means that, again, your hair is going to be a lot fuller and a lot bigger and you can do a lot more things styling wise. But the problem with that is that having a lot more fibers means there's going to be a lot more movement and a lot more prone to tangling. The silky line of wigs from Arda is supposed to remedy that, whereas even though it has so many fibers, the actual fibers themselves are supposed to be designed that they won't get tangled as easily. But I'm going to put these up on wig heads and then we will actually see what the tangling is like. So here is the Delilah on my, like, 
dress form and it was stored as a braid which you can kind of see there and I'm trying to unwind it now and as you can see it's quite frizzy right at the bottom so I'm going to have to take a little bit of time to unbraid this and get it looking smooth. One thing that we say is that since this wig is five feet long and I am five feet tall this wig is one Nina long so it's quite a large boy so I'm going to have to take some time in straightening him out. Okay, so here is the wig kind of all straightened out. Um, it's not quite as um, messy in the top half um, as much as it is, I'd say, in the last like foot of it. It reaches all the way down to the ground, um, which is really, really impressive. It's quite gigantic. I would say, um, even though the silky wigs, you definitely can tell that they are a little bit smoother than the classic Art of Fibers. I'd say they still frizz up quite a lot and um, with a wig like this that just has so many fibers that are constantly touching together, you're always going to have like a little bit of this like sort of fluffy like outer layer of frizz on them. And normally that's okay with shorter wigs because you really only have that in the section like right beneath the neck and then like sort of along where your back is. But this wig is touching so much more of your body and it's going to have to deal with like coming into contact with the floor and getting sort of like moved around with your legs. So there's going to be a lot of frizz and tangling happening right in like this bottom region. So here is the Epic Cosplay Athena. As you can see, it's a lot less short it only goes on me like I guess a little bit past my butt um, again because I'm only like five feet tall um, and it does not hit the floor as you can see it only hits like a little bit ways down going closer with the fiber quality here as you can see it's a lot shinier but it also is a lot smoother and there's a lot less frizz on it um, there is still a little bit it's kind of unavoidable with pretty much any wig there's going to be some level of frizz but the fibers themselves just feel like a lot smoother together. I can rough them up and there's a little bit of like, I guess, back kick frizz, but it only takes a second for me to smooth it back out. Um, just in general, I feel like these fibers compared to the Arda ones are less like rough. I don't really know how to describe it. They just feel so much smoother in my hands. I don't want to give any false claims here. As we said before, there is a lot less fiber on here and it is quite a bit shorter and it's made even, um, I guess like less, more or less dense that, um, because of the bang portion here. Uh, a diff big difference in the styling is that the Delilah has long hair, like five foot long hair everywhere except for like the bang area, which Christina took out. Whereas the Athena has much larger bangs. I think they're much like larger width wise as well. So they only go down, I think it's like 13 inches. So they go down quite far. But again, like this hair isn't full length, like three foot long hairs that are interacting with all of these other three foot long hairs. So that helps a little bit having less hair actually the full length of the bottom um, makes it less tangly. I have the two wigs here side by side holding them at the same length. The, as you can see this one drops off a lot sooner than this one does. It just keeps keeps going. In moving them around like going like this the Athena has gotten a lot more tussled up whereas I say the Delilah has stayed like the same level of frizz as it was when it just was like static on the mannequin. Um, and I guess that would be because since the fibers are so silky on this, they're likely to like move around and slide around. So you definitely would need like a comb to carry on with this one um, just for quick touch-ups, especially in like the upper head area. This one I would say you definitely need to carry a comb around with just because of how freaking massive it is. Although I think for the most part, if you're out in a convention, you're not going to have like 15 minutes at a time to detangle all of the bottom. You would just have to worry about like the bangs getting weird. This wig hasn't been worn yet, so it doesn't have any of the weird, usually like big clumping of um, hair that usually happens with like the friction of your body when you wear a wig, right at like the base of the neck. Um, but I can only assume it will develop that because all of my other order wigs have that issue, even the silky ones. This one on the other hand, again, is mostly just getting frizzy up in like the top and again I've only worn this like in test shots so it doesn't have any big clumps of hair at the very bottom right now. 
So from a personal standpoint, I prefer the Athena um, for two main reasons. One is that I'm only five foot tall, so having a wig that is also five feet is a little bit more cumbersome for me personally. If you're a much taller person and you want like a similar silhouette to an anime character that has like floor length hair, it probably would be better for you to get a longer wig, but for me having like a three foot long wig is perfectly fine. Another thing is just a general aspect of Epic Cosplay's construction of their wigs over Arda wigs. Arda wigs are known for being extremely thick, and that's very, very helpful if you want a style that has a lot of volume or is very, very large. But it doesn't necessarily work in the favor of having very, very long wigs, because the more fiber that you have in a wig, the more likely it's going to tangle. And even with the silky variety of Arda wigs, they still, just by the amount of hair that they have in the head, it's still more likely to tangle than a wig that has less fibers. And even though the silky variety of wigs from Arda is supposed to be designed to have fibers that are less likely to tangle, just by the sheer amount of fibers that are in Arda wigs, it's going to tangle like no matter what. The Delilah even says on the website that it's very high maintenance, whereas the silky fibers are described as supposed to be more low maintenance than the regular classic wigs, so it's kind of like a difference in opinion, like they know that this wig, just by the properties of it being so large and so long, it's going to have tangles no matter what. That being said, there isn't a five foot long equivalent that is from Epic Cosplay, so if you absolutely needed a wig that had to be five feet long, you would have to go with a Delilah, and if you wanted to prevent it from getting tangled very easily, you would have to thin it out and take out some of the wefts. That being said, for me personally, because I am quite short and a five foot long wig is a little bit too much for me, and I prefer having a wig that is quite long and less likely to tangle, having a wig that's a little bit thinner and also a little bit shorter is no problem for me. So for that, I do really prefer the Athena. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this was informative and helpful for you in picking out a wig that is most suited to your cosplay needs. I want to do more wig videos in the future considering I have quite a lot of them and I have ones from a bunch of different companies so I think I can do more comparisons between them. So if you guys would like to see those videos then please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!